How do you say Lansi? Feeling ready, is it? Hi, Pang. Welcome to the Fairly Current Show. Hi. So, Pang, um, you are the the head head chief, the only programmer at the Annex Gallery. I haven't been called the head chief in a long time, chief. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about spaces. Yeah. Like, okay. Uh, and and how the Annex over the last has it been one and a half years. It's been two and a half years. years. Two and a half years already mm -hmm. of of its existence, and it's become a kind of space for all sorts of things from uh, productions, theatre productions to gallery events to um, forums yeah? okay. or fora. Yes. Uh, yeah. So what, 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 what do you think is the, the space that the Annex occupies in terms of providing space for all these spaceless, homeless people because, uh, you know... Uh, okay, silakan, silakan. Uh, uh, all, all your questions are going to take that long because, you know, we're in like seven minutes. Okay? Yeah, okay. All right. So... Uh, <laughs> Again. This, I I, I've taken actually what um I learned from my Kakisani years into into the NX, which is uh, where chief, you were a scandalous editor. Uh, okay, go on. Yeah, where, where I was a slave of Cathy Rowland. So uh, and and actually the 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 thing I learned most about was uh from Cathy Rowland uh, about the contestations for how culture is defined in this country. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, um, and we, we, we like to, to talk about how p different people had in, uh, different invested, a uh, different investment in the meanings of mm -hmm. uh, the word culture. And that's why the state is always telling us this is not culture, that's not culture. Um, hence, uh, providing the idea that culture is prescriptive and not descriptive, mm -hmm. which is the other definition of culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something that people already are doing. So, uh, Taking uh, that from Cathy Rowland's uh, very uh, in incredible article called uh, in uh, Bukan Budaya Kita, uh, I, I kind of translated that into a, sp a practice of a space that is about letting people define their culture for themselves. You know, rather than waiting for the state to tell you what is and isn't your culture. You know, uh, you know I mean, so so people don't have to say okay just because the state says that holding hands is not a culture you know uh, kissing is not a culture homosexuality black metal music everything you know I mean eventually nothing's going to be our culture anymore right except crime <laughs> go on and three in one coffee yeah so um so 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 I wanted a space la, that you know in the end was about uh, letting people define for themselves mm. what is a culture and actually and 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 what is interesting to me about the act of defining is that, um, especially through the artistic practice, mm. is that it escapes language. You know, the, the, especially now, uh, we, we have all this war about language and all that, right? People yeah. always forget, you know, they think that language is everything. You know, actually language is one of the most imperfect tools we have to express ourselves, yeah? And, and, and the marvelous thing about art is it's, it escapes language, you know? It, it, uh, it helps us consider many things and perspectives beyond uh, our ability to define it first. Mm. Yeah, and, and that's why that's why that's why uh, that that kind of amorphous space becomes exciting for me when I when I try to run the annex, you know, mm. as uh, with that spirit lah, you know, of uh, of of amorphousity. Yeah, but <laughs> but but having said what you said about language, yes. I think I think that is one of the things you know people talking about the annex or either writing about the mm. stuff that's happening at the annex is helping to to generate and continue to 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 give a sense of this buzz that's happening at the annex. And I just want to go back to what you talk about uh, investments and mm. prescription. Mm. Yeah, uh, and of course we all know that the Ministry of uh, now now there's no more arts in the portfolio, <laughs> at least not not ri li ri really li written out. And um, in terms of investment, um, people who build you your spaces mm -hmm, mm -hmm. also have a certain, you know, whether it's an agenda sure, or a certain sure, direction. Sure. Okay. So what are your thoughts about this? Because the annex, of course, is not free from mm. this kind of investment. Of course. Um, we are supported 100% uh, by Central Market Sindrian Bahad, yeah? uh, which is owned by uh, Mr. Bernard Bong who uh, you know, bought up Central Market a few years ago under the persuasion of uh, the late Endon. Uh, and then now, um, and, then, and then he invited uh, Nani Kaha to be the architect uh, for his uh, renovation, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or one of the architects. And she suggested to him uh, that he needs to turn the upper floors of the Central Market Annex into an art space because 
uh, he was going to turn it into his office. Right. Yeah. Uh, where Malewa Group used to have their office uh, right. while they were running uh, Central Market. So she she and and interestingly, she was also the resident architect in that office space uh, when the Central Market Annex was then called Central Square. Right. Yeah. Uh, and so now she thought, no, no, I, I don't think we need any more offices. We need more art spaces. And, and for some reason, this guy, who's just a businessman, knows very little about art, um, was persuaded. Actually, it's very hard not to be persuaded by uh, Nani Kaha. You know what I mean? <laughs> she's, she's the most amazing myth maker I know. Uh. Yeah. She will paint you a picture you know, of, of something that is so impossible, you want it. Kind yeah. of like Yasmin Ahmad, you know what right, I mean? Right, yeah. Right. Talk, so, yeah. Okay, but talking about myth, yeah. okay. Um, one of the things that, that's that's happening mm-hmm. yeah, is this, uh, I wouldn't say it's a myth, but it's an ongoing story that you that the Annex Gallery has been having mm-hmm. uh, over the last uh, at least year and a half, at least, right? Mm-hmm. It's this thing called Art for Grabs and you have an event coming up soon, 9th and 10th of May. Yeah. And, and why is it that you continue to have Art for Grabs? Art for Grabs was uh, started when I... I felt very pity. I, 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 I took pity on, had... on, on all you poor uh, people who come to the gallery and you look at this beautiful, expensive art, you know, all the Mata Hatis and the uh, Gansyong Kings, right? You know, uh, which I know you all own while he was still very cheap. Uh, <laughs> and, and then you look at this art and you go, aren't we lucky just to be able to look at expensive art? Bastard. You know, you know the kind of thing. And, uh, and so I have a feeling that people want to own art. You know, they may not understand it always, but some people are challenged by the intrigue that art gives them, right? So they, it, it's nice. And when you are intrigued by an art that doesn't, whose meaning escapes you a little bit, you you know that when you take it home, you can have that relationship with it. You see, over the years, its meaning will change. You know, and it will keep changing as you grow, as as you become a different person. So it's exciting for people to want to own art, except they cannot afford it. Right. So. So I came up with art for grabs. So, uh, and the cri- the main criteria is every item of art has to be sold for less than hundred ringgit. Right. Okay. And I found that a lot of artists don't mind doing that. They don't mind actually after making their thousand over ringgit art. They sometimes don't mind doing a uh, you know some small easily sellable stuff because they like people to own their art. Mm-hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, artists, uh, you know, are still uh chari- charity prostitutes. You know. Or yeah. People persons. Not really. Charity positive. So, okay. uh, and okay. uh, yeah, so so they are happy to do it like like you, you know. I mean, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank, thank, thanks. One of the more successful uh, charitable positives we have. So okay, well, okay, we'll we'll cap it at that. Thank, thank, thanks, Bang. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, you welcome. prostitute. I mean, uh. thank you, thank you. The unwelcome word of the week is Lan Si. Lan Si. Arrogant, like Kerek, from the Cantonese, dick shit, which is an indication that it's not a compliment. As politicians go, Nazri is one of the more lancy ones. Who is Nazri? Nazri.